Youth Runner here. Uh, it is a South Point Catholic sweep of the Division II sophomore races. We just saw Savannah Kuntz, now we have the great Ian Morlock. Uh, and they did it in very similar fashion. Uh, very effective in the second half of the race, really attacking the last mile. Ian, 11 seconds down to Dylan Marquez going into that last mile. But obviously, you know, everybody's hurting at that point. Uh, you summon something uh, really significant and, and, and really profound. How, how good does it feel to be able to win it in the fashion that you did? It feels amazing. It honestly feels great. You know, I, I came in the race, my legs weren't feeling that great, you know. But it's not about how you feel in the day. It's about how you, how you, how your effort, what you put into the race. You don't care if you feel great too. It's a run hard. Yeah, uh, this, this, you know, this is uh, an experience uh, to race for place. Obviously, there's going to be plenty of opportunities. Maybe as, uh, as soon as next Friday night at Desert Twilight, you know, to race for time. Uh, yeah. But obviously, uh, here it's all about just being gritty, you know, being uh, being courageous, being tough. You were all of the above. Uh, just you know, the fact that it's kind of like a simulation for uh, for the South Point guys, the South Point girls, you know, to to really have. You know, that, that extra gear and that you know and that mental toughness in the last mile because obviously you're going to need that at Cave Creek you know uh, later on in the season so I just how reassuring is it how affirming is it that you were able to do that on September 21st so hopefully we can see you, you know, uh, do it again in the postseason oh it feels great um, yeah I'm really happy with how it progressed at the beginning of the season I wasn't quite in shape but I'm really happy I pushed hard and I made it and got first in this race. I'm really happy about that. Most definitely. I love the interaction, the camaraderie, the, you know, the, the support uh, of, of all your teammates. I mean, you know, uh, I think some of them are, you know, because obviously you're still kind of processing it all. Uh, you know, they're, you know, they're, uh, they're so fired up for you. Like, how, how meaningful is it to be able to have the opportunity, certainly to come here and compete? But just you know, to take these trips you know, with the group and just you know, to really kind of continue to you know, to form those 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 bonds and that brotherhood. Oh yeah, I'd, I love running with other people. You know, running by myself is just not the same. Um, so having that brotherhood, especially at Sound Point here, we have a very big cross country team. I came in on the first day and I was like, oh shoot, we got like 50 people here. Let's go. And everyone's passionate about cross country. That really just fuels you, gives you energy, gives you something to run for. So. I really appreciate my community at South Point and everything I have. Most definitely, for for people that you know that aren't aware of the ge geography of the, uh, of the program, uh, as I am, just the blessing of being able to come down to sea level, oh, right? Yeah. You know, still having the conditions even like this in the afternoon. You know, we oh, always expect amazing. it with a little cloud cover in the morning, but still have a breeze. You know, and it's still manageable conditions. Like, you know that. You don't always get days like this in Arizona. Oh yeah. Definitely. So you know, you know, I know you're always going to be purposeful and intentional, you know, in your training and and in, and in your races. But just to be able to have it kind of line up like this, where you know the conditions were also you're know, going to be favorable to, to you know to really allow you to kind of tap into that strength and that fitness in the last mile. How much of a blessing was that? Oh, it's amazing and blessing. I love running here. I love running in Tucson. I love running in general. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. but to run here at sea level and have this, this beautiful clear day. It's amazing. Awesome. Well, Savannah had a 54 second swing over yeah. the last two miles. You had a 15 second swing over the last uh, uh, mile. It certainly shows that South Point uh, is already close to postseason form with their strength in, uh, in the latter half of the races. Again, 16.57.4 uh, to complete the sweep. Ian Morlock here at Balboa Park at the 44th ASICS Mount Carmel Invitational. Stay healthy. Best of luck. Oh, well, thank you very much.